Member of Parliament, I find is 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 is, is good in the sense that you've got a team of people to support you. Yeah. So the, the, the great team that I have around me, they have the skill sets that mean that I don't really feel like having dyspraxia and dyslexia as an MP is a major problem. So I feel that that is very liberating. The fact that I have some great people around me who are able to provide that that core competence <laughs> that mean, that means that I can really focus on the things that I'm good at. Uh, You're really good at this. And, and, you, know, you are and, really and good at speaking out. To be honest, I think it, when, when I did my maiden speech in Parliament, I wasn't really sure what I was going to say. I mean, obviously, I knew I was going to talk about the constituency. I knew I was going to give some basic background about growing up and things like that. But I didn't know the extent to which I was going to make a big thing about my dyslexia and dyspraxia because I hadn't spoken about it that much beforehand. But I just think it's very important that people with dyslexia and dyspraxia and any other kind of disability know that if you're determined and you get the right support, there's no reason why you can't really go on and do things. But I must just make raise a point that we're doing a report at the moment in the educa on the education committee, a prison education report. And, you know, I was shocked when I found out that almost half of those in prison have got some kind of learning disability. So for me, this further underlines why it's so important to get special educational needs provision right, because it's not just a matter about the individuals and the families, but it's about society as a whole. And it's about saying that if we don't get special educational needs provision right, we're losing the talents. And, and, and often there can be a fine line between going on and being very successful and ending up in the criminal justice system, going in the wrong direction. Uh, and if your needs aren't being met and you're in an education setting where you feel as though you're not understood, people don't understand you, you can't be successful. It's incredibly frustrating. And you can understand if you feel like the system's failing you, it's very tempting to turn against that system. So therefore, I don't find it that surprising that there are so many people in prison who have got learning disabilities, whose needs haven't been met, who more than likely weren't in a position that I was, where I, could have a, where I had a parent who was in a position to be able to put me into the school that he did put me into.